Here on Earth, some of the most complex arrangements of matter in the known universe have come into existence. Life in all its diversity developed. And the most wondrous of nature's achievements is the human mind. With our conscious ability to comprehend and thus manage the relationship between cause and effect, we have achieved so much. We've been truly inspired as we cured disease and sent man to the moon. And yet despite our species' magnificent mental capabilities and undeniable capacity for immense sensitivity and love, behind each wondrous scientific achievement and every sensitive artistic expression and compassionate act lies the shadow of humanity's darker side. An unspeakable history of greed, hatred, rape, torture, murder, and war. A propensity for shocking deeds of violence, depravity, indifference, and cruelty. Historically, we have simply excused the darker aspect of our nature as a relic of a competitive and aggressive animal past, where the instinct to survive and reproduce genes dictated behavior. But is this not just a convenient excuse we used while we searched for the real reason for our divisive nature? After all, words used to describe human behavior, such as egocentric, arrogant, inspired, depressed, deluded, optimistic, pessimistic, hateful, immoral, guilt-ridden, evil, psychotic, neurotic, or alienated, all recognize the involvement of our species' fully conscious thinking mind. They demonstrate that there is a psychological dimension to our behavior, that we don't suffer from a genetic opportunism-driven animal condition. We suffer from the psychologically troubled human condition. But if our animal instincts are to blame, does this mean humans simply have an evil nature? For some two million years, which is the likely time we have been fully conscious, we've wrestled with this problem, which has in turn generated a tremendous amount of guilt and subconsciously weighed heavily on us as a species. World-renowned biologist Jeremy Griffith has dedicated his life to understanding and explaining the human condition. And after decades of research, his astonishing breakthroughs are finally ready to share. And many experts agree they will save the world. The first concept in understanding the human condition is relatively easy to grasp. Like all living creatures, our species must once have been instinctively controlled. But then we evolved a conscious mind capable of understanding cause and effect. And from that moment on, our conscious mind has been in a wrestling match with our original instinctive orientations for the control of our lives. And it is this conflict that is the cause of our human condition. Our newer nerve-based conscious mind began to act independently of our instincts, in effect defy them. When our instincts resisted and gave conflicting instructions, they in effect criticized our conscious mind's search for knowledge. The inevitable result was that we became angry, defensive, and determined to prove our instinct's criticism was undeserved. We unavoidably became sufferers of the human condition. Freeing ourselves of this suffering is the key to our future and will open the floodgates to the enormous potential in humans that has been stifled. A whole new world will suddenly open up for the human race. Our species' journey to enlightenment truly does have a happy ending. And if the conscious mind is nature's greatest invention, which it surely is, and it had to suffer living with unjust criticism from our instincts for some two million years, we humans must be the absolute heroes of the story of life on Earth. We invite you to learn more about this world-saving breakthrough explanation that will transform your life and the life of every other human.